learning outcomes after reading this module you shall be able to learn the need of sustainable reporting identify the developments taken place in the field on reporting such as global reporting initiatives analyze the relationship between gri and integrated reporting identify the main features of new gri g4 guidelines learn the various initiatives taken in the area of non financial reporting or esg reporting let us understand what is sustainable reporting corporate reporting established solely on accounting standards are being gradually criticized as it permits companies to externalize environmental and social cost due to the fact that financial results are not placed within the context of the greater economy society or the environment in which the firms operate the theory of sustainability has its origin in the 1960s environmental movement when problems such as resource depletion overpopulation decreasing water supplies air pollution and the spread of chemicals and heavy metals in nature come into limelight sustainability swiftly evolved to become a catch phrase for the dawning of the new century being sustainable has become socially preferable approach to almost everything sustainable development which is in use currently traces its origin to the 1987 britland report of the world commission on development and the environment expressed in simple terms sustainable development is commonly considered to be development should take place in such a way that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs we can define sustainable development as development that fulfills the needs of the present generation without compromising the capacity of future generations to meet their own needs corporate sustainability means the ability of the corporates to maintain economic prosperity in the perspective of environmental responsibility and social stewardship it is a business oriented approach that aids in creating long term stakeholder value by embracing opportunities and handling risk deriving from social economic and environmental developments sustainable reporting has become more relevant and significant in today's context not only from social or environmental concerns but because globally we have started recognizing that our goal should not just be growth and profits instead we should aim at inclusive growth also if the growth process is not equitable it cannot be sustainable during the 1990s a new trend of voluntary producing non financial reports reflecting stakeholder calls for more informed corporate disclosure was started by some companies although the content of these reports varies significantly but in general it contains information regarding social environmental and economic performance in a printed format sustainability corporate social responsibility and triple bottom line reporting has emerged as a flourishing industry with almost all major corporations now issuing annual reports highlighting their social or environmental performance the principle behind these non financial reports is that only the effects that are measured and accounted for in a report will receive the required attention by the organization's management and owners reporting is therefore seen as crucial to ensure that organizations are environmentally and socially responsible increasing number of companies and other organization want to make their operations sustainable moreover expectations that long term profitability should be in harmony with social justice and conserving the environment are gaining popularity these expectations are only set to escalate and intensify as the need to move to a truly sustainable economy is understood by companies and organizations financiers 
customers and various other stakeholders. Sustainability reporting helps organization to set goals, measure performance and manage change in order to make their operations more sustainable. A sustainability report is more comprehensive than an environmental or a social report. First, because it includes the economic impact of the organization and second, because not only does it assess the enterprise impact on society and compare its performance over the years, but it also assesses the sustainability of the enterprise operations and products in relation to the development of society. Now let us discuss about Global Reporting Initiative. The Global Reporting Initiative that is GRI is a not-for-profit body that encourages economic sustainability. It produces one of the world's most predominant standards for sustainable reporting. Also known as Ecological Footprint Reporting, ESG, Environmental Social Governance Reporting, Corporate Social Reporting, Triple Bottom Line Reporting. A sustainability report is a report which is made by an organization to disseminate information about environmental, economic, social and governance performance. GRI aims to make sustainability reporting by all organizations as general as possible and comparable to financial reporting. GRI guidelines are regarded to be widely used. More than 4000 organizations from 60 countries use the guidelines to produce their sustainability reports. GRI guidelines apply to corporate businesses, public agencies, smaller enterprises, industry groups and others. The GRI is a primary organization in the field of sustainability. It has the agenda of promoting sustainability reporting as a way to making organizations more sustainable. Organizations can contribute a lot to the sustainable development. A sustainability report aims to convey disclosures on an organization's impact, may be negative or positive, on the society, environment and the economy. In doing so, sustainability reporting makes abstract issues tangible and concrete, thereby helps in understanding and managing the effects of sustainability developments on the organization's activities and strategies. Internationally agreed disclosures and metrics enable information contained within sustainability reports to be made accessible and comparable, providing stakeholders with enhanced information to inform their decisions. Now let us discuss how Global Reporting Initiative is governed. The GRI means the global network of thousands worldwide that create the reporting framework, use it in unwilling their sustainability performance, demand its use by organizations as the basis for information disclosure, or are aggressively engaged in improving the standard. The network is supported by an institutional side of the GRI which is made up of the following governance bodies, technical advisory committee, organizational stakeholders, board of directors, stakeholder council and a secretariat. Various geographic and sector constituencies are represented in these governance body. GRI is headquartered in Amsterdam's Netherlands. Moving ahead, let us discuss the Global Reporting Initiative guidelines. In 2000, the Global Reporting Initiative issued its Maiden Sustainability Reporting Guidelines. One of the most generally used structures for reporting on sustainability is the Global Reporting Initiative's G3 Guidelines. Guidelines are an update and completion of the third generation of GRI Sustainability Reporting Guidelines G3. This framework has been used in nearly 7500 reports to report on sustainability worldwide and more than 100 GRI reports have been published by Indian companies so far. Global Reporting Initiative is a global initiative to standardize non-financial reports which the institutions adopt and has become 
the de facto standard internationally. GRI is a long term multi stakeholder international process whose mission is to develop and disseminate globally applicable sustainability reporting guidelines. These guidelines are meant for voluntary usage by organization for reporting on the social, economic and environmental dimensions of their activities, services and products. The motive of the guidelines is to aid reporting organizations and their stakeholders in enunciating and understanding contributions of the reporting organizations to sustainable development. Now let us discuss the G4 guidelines. The GRI sustainability reporting guidelines are reviewed periodically to provide the best and most up to date supervision for effective sustainability reporting. G4 is GRI's fourth generation of sustainability reporting guidelines. The aim of G4 is quite simple to contain valuable information about the organization's most critical sustainability related issues, help reporters prepare sustainability reports that matter and make such sustainability reporting standard practice. It is crucial for society and markets that sustainability reporting evolves in terms of content and from an inceptional activity undertaken by a minority of leading companies to a standard practice together with being more user friendly than previous versions of the guidelines g4 has an ever increased status on the need for organization to focus the reporting procedure and final report on those areas that are substantial to their business and their key stakeholders. This materiality focus will make reports more relevant, more credible and more user friendly. This will in turn enable organizations to better inform markets and society on sustainability matters. While organizations may monitor and manage a far wider array of sustainability related topics due to their everyday management activities. This new focus on materiality means that sustainability reports will be centered on matters that are really critical in order to achieve the organization's goals and manage its impact on society. The guidelines have been developed through an extensive process involving hundreds of reporters, report users and professional intermediaries from around the world. G4 therefore offers a globally relevant framework to support a standardized approach to reporting, encouraging the degree of transparency and consistency that is required to make information useful and credible to markets and society. G4 is designed to be universally applicable to all organizations, large and small across the world. The features of G4 to make the guidelines easier to use both for experienced reporters and for those new to sustainability reporting from any sector are supported by other GRI materials and services. As with all GRI guidelines, G4 includes references to widely accepted and used issue specific reporting documents and is designed as a consolidated framework for reporting performance against different codes and norms for sustainability. G4 also provides guidance on how to present sustainability disclosure in different report formats, be they standalone sustainability reports, integrated reports, annual reports, reports that address particular international norms or online reporting. Moving forward, let now discuss the main features of the G4 guidelines. The G4 guidelines have increased user friendliness and accessibility. The emphasis on what is material encourages organizations to provide only information that is critical to their business and stakeholders. This means organization and report users can concentrate on the sustainability impacts that matter resulting in reports that are more strategic, more focused, more credible and easier for stakeholders to navigate. Among many features, key enhancements in G4 include 
up to date disclosures on governance ethics and integrity supply chain anti corruption and greenhouse gas emissions generic format for disclosures on management approach two in accordance criteria options both focused on material aspects gri content index offering a transparent format to communicate external assurance technically reviewed content and clear disclosure requirements detailed guidelines on how to select material topics and explain the boundaries of where material impacts occur flexibility for preparers to choose the report focus flexibility to combine with local and regional reporting requirements and frameworks up to date harmonization and reference to all available and internationally accepted reporting documents overview tables summaries and quick links to specific guidelines components complete glossary reference list and visual guidelines now let us understand the gri and integrated reporting gri co-founded the international integrated reporting council known in short as iirc because the future of corporate reporting is the integration of financial and sustainability strategy and results an integrated report should be the result of an integrated strategy and an integrated reporting process understanding the strategic link between financial results and sustainability issues is critical for business managers and increasingly connected to short and long term business success and risk management organizations are expected to be able to identify the material sustainability topics to monitor and manage to ensure positive business performance this identification is at the core of the sustainability reporting process provided by GRI's sustainability reporting framework GRI offers companies guidance on how to identify material sustainability topics to be monitored and managed and to prepare for the integrated thinking process the foundation for integrated reporting which has been disseminated around the globe in the last years moving on now let us discuss the relationship between integrated reporting and sustainability reporting sustainability reporting is a method that supports organization in setting goals measuring performance against goals and managing change towards a sustainable global economy one that combines long term profitability with social responsibility and environmental care sustainability reporting mainly through but not limited to a sustainability report is the key platform for communicating the organization's economic environmental social and governance performance reflecting both negative and positive impacts integrating reported is an emerging and evolving trend in corporate reporting which in general aims primarily to offer an organization's provider of financial capital with an integrated representation of the key factors that are material to its present and future value creation integrated reporters build on sustainability reporting foundations and disclosures in preparing their integrated report through the integrated report an organization provides a concise communication about how its strategy governance performance and prospects lead to the creation of value over time therefore the integrated report is not intended to be an abstract of the traditional annual report nor a combination of the annual financial statements and the sustainability report however the integrated report interacts with other reports and communications by making reference to additional detailed information that is provided separately although the objectives of sustainability reporting and integrated reporting may be different sustainability reporting is an intrinsic element of integrated reporting sustainability reporting considers the relevance of sustainability to an organization 
and also addresses sustainability priorities and key topics focusing on the impact of sustainability trends risk and opportunities on the long term prospects and financial performance of the organization sustainability reporting is fundamental to an organization's integrated thinking and reporting process in providing input into the organization's identification of its material issues its strategic objectives and the assessment of its ability to achieve those objectives and create value over time many organizations that use the gri guidelines have started experimenting in the field of integrated reporting despite the absence of an internationally accepted definition and framework now let us see the other new initiatives the first one is the csr index recently the bombay stock exchange and the iica signed a memorandum to develop a corporate social responsibility index the index will assess the impact and performance of companies listed at bsc in csr activities the index would also look at the performance of companies in their mandatory csr spend as per the new act the ministry of corporate affairs mandated xbrl for specific companies on april 16 2013 the international integrated reporting council issued its consultation draft of the international integrated reporting framework the cd as a proposed framework for how to create an integrated report and what to include in that report xprl is mentioned explicitly in this section of the cd as a possible technology platform for integrated reporting as it is used around the world by regulators and agencies as the standard for structured digital disclosures of financial information xprl is a logical consideration for providing similar benefits to integrated reports that combine financial and non financial information for first all companies listed with any stock exchange or exchanges in india and their indian subsidiaries second all companies having paid up capital of rupees 5 crore and above third all companies having turnover of rupees 100 crore and above or fourth all companies who are required to file their financial statements for financial year 2010 to 11 using xprl for this new form 23 ac xprl for balance sheet and 23 aca xprl for profit and loss account have been made available on the mca portal in india xprl taxonomies have been created and mandated by reserve bank of india securities and exchange board of india ministry of corporate affairs it is expected that many other regulatory and national jurisdiction bodies such as sales tax and income tax authorities will be coming up with a specific reporting requirement using xbrl extensible business reporting language is an open platform independent international standard for the timely accurate efficient and cost effective electronic storage manipulation repurposing and communication of financial and business reporting data currently financial statements or other information prepared in word excel or html formats can be read but not automatically analyzed or processed according to the users needs xprl enables source data to be tagged electronically making the data machine readable xprl makes the data machine readable with the help of two documents taxonomy and xprl instance document xprl is a derivative of xml and as such it takes advantage of the tag notion which associates contextual information with data points in financial statements when formatted with tags financial statements are called xprl instance documents the tags themselves are based on accounting standards and regularity reporting regimes 
and are defined in XPRL taxonomies. It is a non-proprietary open language. As a result, the definitions within the XPRL standard are freely available. A special characteristics of XPRL that it inherits from XML and it is a platform independent. Just as English is the accepted language of business for most of the world, XML runs on all of the major computer hardware under the most common operating systems. The second one is by SEBI's which has mandated to insert business responsibility report. Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India in July 2011 came out with national voluntary guidelines on social, environmental and economic responsibilities of business. These guidelines contain comprehensive principles to be adopted by companies as part of their business practices and a structured business responsibility reporting format requiring certain specified disclosures, demonstrating the steps taken by companies to implement the said principles. In line with the MCA guidelines and considering the larger interest of public disclosure regarding steps taken by listed entities from an environmental, social and governance perspectives, SEBI decided to mandate inclusion of business responsibility reports known as BR reports as part of the annual reports for listed entities. The requirement to include BR reports as part of the annual reports is mandatory for top 100 listed entities based on market capitalization at BSC and NSC as on March 31st, 2012. Other listed entities may voluntarily disclose BR reports as part of their annual reports. Let us summarize our discussion so far. Problems such as resources depletion, overpopulation, decreasing water supplies, air pollution and spread of chemicals and heavy metals in nature came into limelight. Sustainability reporting helps organizations to set goals, measure performance and manage change in order to make their operations more sustainable. The Global Reporting Initiative is a not-profit body that encourages economic sustainability. The GRI means the global network of thousands worldwide that create the reporting framework, use it in unwilling their sustainability performance, demand its use by organizations on the basis for information disclosure or are aggressively engaged in improving the standard. GRI is a long-term, multi-stakeholder, international process whose mission is to develop and disseminate globally applicable sustainability reporting guidelines. The GRI sustainability reporting guidelines are periodically reviewed to provide the best and most up-to-date guidance for effective sustainability reporting. G4 is GRI's fourth generation of sustainability reporting guidelines. GRI co-founded the International Integrated Reporting Council because the future of corporate reporting is the integration of financial and sustainability strategy and results.